Hey guys, what is going on? GMXP1. I've uh, got some news here on the Xbox One's SRAM. Um, seen this article today. It's from a, a woman called Camille Myra. She's a CEO of Persistent Studios. Basically, what it is is Xbox One's SRAM small size is not a problem, can help in better particle effects. So what it's saying here basically is that the Xbox One's SRAM has been a topic of much controversy ever since the console launched back in November 2013. Gaming Bolt has interviewed several developers in the past and although most of them are positive about its usage, there are almost equal number who think that SRAM is very small to output 1080p resolution and is, is a bottleneck to the system. So in this article it says um, Gaming Bolt recently spoke to Camille Myra who is the CEO of Persistent Studios persistent are working on popcorn effects a middleware technology that focuses on 3d real-time particles along with metrics uh, asset work workflow and debugging the middleware is being used in many AAA titles like black desert and is currently available for pc ps4 xbox 360 xbox one and the ps3 the xbox one's sram although limited in size has an extremely high bandwidth with a peak speed of 204 GBS in our in our lengthy interview with Camille we asked whether there is a potential for better particle effects using SRAM or is it more of a bottleneck given its extremely small size and she said actually the small memory isn't problematic it only means you can use 32 megabytes at a time but you can map unmap virtual memory at will on those very fast 32 megabytes she also explains we found this statement interesting as the SRAM has been criticised before for its small size. Camille believes that this could actually result in better particle effects as it makes overdraw faster and this is usually used for render targets and blending intensive operations so it will indirectly help particles meaning effects by making high overdraw be faster. However being a middleware provider they cannot take the decision of using it since they need to commu um, communicate with the, de with the developer first Moreover, using SRAM is not on their priority list at the moment. We could decide to use that memory, but as a middleware developer, there are decisions that cannot we cannot make on our own. The game studio might have other plans for those 32 megabytes that we're not aware of. So for the moment, we'll definitely do some research and testing with the Xbox One um, SRAM when we have popcorn effects running on the GPU to see what we can do with it but it's not really a big priority right now she said so um, it looks like it's still as you know the consoles are in the f in the early stages there's lots of potential for this to move um, you know like three four years down the line I don't see a problem with that uh, with either the PS4 or the Xbox one so uh, just thought I'd give you that little article there um, and there's nothing else guys so if, if if you're wondering what this game is this is um dust and elysian tail it's now available on xbox 360 and it's free on games with gold if you like rpgs it's sort of like got a mix of castlevania devil may cry controls in it it's a beautifully game um, a beautiful game like a hand painted thing so it is nice so go and check it out if you're into this sort of game so thanks for watching guys and as i always say Keep it gaming. Peace out.